All right, so it's uh, Tuesday, about 3.20 in the afternoon. Uh, this is the house at 101 Tispicum Street. This is the passive solar home. Uh, this is the exterior view of our, our windows, our very special uh, Cromwell windows. What you can see here is at about three, a little after 3 o'clock, even at uh, this time of year, we're getting a little bit of shadowing. Um, but today, pretty cold outside. Um, the outside temperature, 34 degrees. So I'm going to go inside and uh, show you what the house is doing on the inside. There's no other heat installed in here yet, although we are all sealed up. We're getting ready uh, to uh, drywall and plaster. Uh, the drywall came today. And so I'm going to take a shot inside and uh, show you how the house is performing inside. All right, so we just shot this from the outside. This is uh, 3.20 in the afternoon. And we had a great sunny day. Uh, you can actually see a couple of blocks we're having issues with that need to be resolved, and those will be taken care of next week. Uh, there's a clarity issue in this block right here. Uh, but other than that, you can see out these blocks really well. Um, so the window's actually kind of dirty right now. Well, let me show you what's happening with that wall right now at this time in the afternoon. Um, we showed you outside we're about 36 degrees. Our uh, temperature in the, on that window right now is reading about 78 degrees. And we'll take a look at this one here. Let's we'll shoot the wall of the house over here. The inside temperature in the house, about 56 degrees. 57 degrees. As you come over to these windows, you can see the temperature jump into the uh, 76 to 77 degree range this time of the afternoon. So this storm is a ton of energy in that window. Uh, they were about 55 degrees uh, this morning. So we're seeing about a 20 degree raise in temperature, or about uh, capturing about 60,000 BTUs of thermal energy over the course of a decent sunny day. So. All right, so I showed you those other windows. These are the other three. Uh, these are three block wide, five block high. Uh, this three is uh, 45 blocks there. These are four blocks wide, five blocks high, uh, 40 blocks. I showed you the temperature there, and I'll show you what's happening here on this side. All right, so we're getting about a 78, 77.7. Let's see if we get very closer. Shoot this right here. Yeah, we're getting about a 78, 79, almost 80 degree temperature. Um, all right, so we shot this window a little bit earlier. Um, we showed you got to a uh, temperature about 78. It actually got up to close to 80 uh, by the end of the day around 4 o'clock. Uh, the house warmed up for a while. It's starting to cool down a little bit now. Um, we're still uh, we're still reading. We're actually 59 degrees, which is actually warmer than it was in here earlier. Um, the temperature outside it's uh, it's about 8:30 on uh, Tuesday, December 2nd. Shoot the outside temperatures here. And you can see we're reading uh, 31.1 degrees in the outside temperature right now. Uh, we get it about 40, 42 degrees today. Uh, so far, this is a low. It's a little cool in that this morning. And our windows at this time of night are uh, still reading. Uh, well, we're in the 69.6 degree range right now. Um, so they've cooled down um, about 10 degrees. From the high point, about 10 degrees from the high point in the day, 69.4. Um, they've, they've dropped about 10 degrees right now. So they've thrown that energy into the space. Um, but they're still right now a uh, good 10, 13 degrees above what the room temperature is. There's thermal energy stored in there. Uh, the room, the space will continue to cool as we stay cold through the night. We'll probably drop another couple of degrees, maybe three degrees. Uh, we've been seeing low, time, low temperatures in the morning on real cold mornings. Uh, in the 55 degree range, about as low as it's gotten. Um, the blocks have gotten that cold for a couple of days with no sun hitting them at all. If the sun hits them during the day, they tend to be uh, about five degrees above the room temperature the next morning. Uh, so they're uh, still giving off a little bit of energy. Uh, once again, we're 71.2. So we're the, there again, this tool isn't the most accurate. It's plus or minus a couple of degrees. So uh, we're about 70 degrees right now on this wall, about 30, 32 outside and about 56, uh, 56, 56, 59 degrees inside the house. Uh, so we're maintaining temperatures. Um, the, the windows perform really well. Uh, as long as the sun shines, the sun doesn't shine, this thing doesn't warm up. It stays pretty ambient with the indoor temperature. Uh, even a little bit of sun makes a big difference. Uh, but if you get a full day of sun, you can capture, uh, we've been seeing the capturing about 25 degrees delta, or about 75,000 BTUs of thermal energy stored in this window at the end of the day. Um, with a good sunny full, full Sunday. Um, cut that shoot up by two hours and you see a significant reduction. 
Um, we we're only going to capture about 60,000 BTUs of thermal energy. So uh, hopefully the sun continues to shine and this window continues to perform. We have no other heat source in this house and the um, coldest temperature we've experienced so, so far is about 54, 55 degrees. Uh, and we've had a lot of low time, temp low night temp time temperatures in the uh, upper teens and lower 20s consistently for the last few weeks. Uh, with really getting above uh, 40 during the day. Uh, we had one or two days where it got into the, around uh, 45. Uh, with a lot of days staying in the upper 30s. So, house is doing well. Uh, just the geothermal heating system should be installed in the next few weeks. Uh, once we bring the slab on the floor up to temperature, uh, this window is going to perform even better and uh, maintain the space even uh, more efficiently. This is the last shot you're going to see of this house before it's drywalled. Um, Spent a lot of time sealing up the house. We built a blower window system, a negative pressure system to suck the air out and create some uh, showing drafts so we could go around and find any air leaks in the house. Uh, we have ventilation systems in here which we sealed up so that when the drywalls come in they don't get dust into our ventilation system. Um, all the wiring's down the wall, all the rough plumbing's down the wall. Tomorrow the drywall goes on and uh, we're also working out back tomorrow doing a stamped concrete patio on the back deck, uh, another one of those green building features that um, so we're using concrete that contains 20% fly ash, uh, also helps us react well with the acid stain we're going to put on there at a later date. So we're going to do a, a stamped concrete patio out in the back. So One more thing that makes this green building function and work well, uh, good use of resources, good use of materials. Uh, one thing you probably don't see, we had a good conversation with a guy the other day who couldn't believe how little trash we had in this job. Uh, we have one 20 yard dumpster. That's all we've used for this job so far. Uh, we'll be a little little tight on that tomorrow after they finish up the drywall. Uh, but typically you would use uh, at least three times what we have on this job site. So we've minimized that waste on the other end. Um, once again, part of the green building thing is to reduce energy, uh, reduce waste, uh, and reducing waste on that end is significant savings in cost. It probably saved me about $1,500, well, $1,200 to $1,500 on uh, disposal fees for trash that we didn't create. Uh, by building this house efficiently. So it's uh, about 7.30 on uh, December 3rd. Um, cold night last night. We showed the performance last night before we left, but we'll take a look at this wall this morning. Uh, our window's still in the 63 degree range. There you see that. Uh, temperature in the house has dropped from about 58, 59 last night. Uh, it's going The outdoor temperature this morning, uh, last night was about 31 degrees when we left here. And our uh, outdoor temperature this morning is now 28.6 degrees. So you can see even with a cold night, uh, the windows cooled down uh, nine, seven, eight, nine degrees overnight. House cooled down a little bit, but a lot of heat was thrown in there. It maintained pretty well uh, through the night. So, so uh, if you like the window system you've seen in this video and some other ones I've done about this, I've done some performance testing. It describes those blocks and the windows and what's contained in there. Uh, how we how we. Uh, take care of uh, overheating issues with exterior soil shades. Um, this system is performing much better than I ever, ever, ever anticipated. And in, in order to get this to market, this is a prototype system. This is the first one ever installed inside of a house outside of the research facility. Um, in order to get this to market, uh, we need to push. Um, if people want to see this window, be able to buy this window and be able to install it in their house, we need people to write, call, email Hunter Douglas and demand this system be pushed to market. Um, they have a few small issues they're trying to work out, uh, about long-term storage of water, um, some clarity issues. But in order to get this product to a point where you'll be able to use it in your home, um, you need to call and push for it. Um, so let's get it out of the research facilities um, and push it to market. So call, write, email Hunter Douglas and demand that the, uh, the uh, solar window designed by uh, Wendell Colson get pushed to market. Thanks for your help and support. Um, you can see from the videos, uh, we're capturing and storing 60 to 75,000 BTUs of thermal energy on any given sunny day. Um, combine that with an energy efficient house, um, it provides a lot of heat, but also in uh, existing applications. This window can be taken, you can take an existing window or a wall in the south side of your house, install this window system, and be storing and capturing the solar energy provided instead of giving your money to the oil companies. Um, so call right email Hunter Douglas